Hi guys. So how's it going? Uh, I am going to do, I finally have, this is Miss Sutton over here, who I'm going to change into this adorable outfit um, that was in my last video. Uh, but I, so I finished organizing um, this little kind of nursery nook is what I'm calling it. Um, so I wanted to show you before it gets to be a disaster again. I'm going to try really hard um, to keep it organized because it's just, it works so much better. Um, and I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying so much these silicone babies, which is good and bad. Um, you know, they're like, you know, they're expensive, they're expensive. And so, but, um, I, I spent money, you know, I spent a lot of money on Reborns as well. And so I guess what I'm saying is qu quality over quantity is kind of where I'm trying to head, um, for sure, because I know what I like now. Um, it took me, it takes time to kind of get to that place. And I think it always changes. Uh, but I'm really happy with kind of where everything's going. And so I wanted to kind of show you and let, let you guys know, um, sort of what my plan is a little bit. I do have some, some reborns for sale. So I'm going to do a separate video, um, on those babies. But for now, let's look at what's going on. So this, okay, this is a cool. I just ran into the dresser. This is a really cool changing dealio. It, so it, um, basically you can fold it and it, it doesn't really take up a lot of space and it's super light. I, this, I love this. It's really cool. So I have, I'll kind of show you guys. Um, and that's, our house kind of backs up to a ravine. So for filming, it's perfect. We're like right by the window. I just, it's, it's really nice. So, uh, let's see. So this, this is how I've got the setup. So we have just a little, um, mat, uh, changing mat thing, pad, uh, that I put in here and I've got my little, silicone puppy. Isn't he cute? Um, and this little guy. I, these are Diana Reed. I saw these on her channel. I had, so I had to get one. Are they not? Like, is he not the cute? Look at his eyes. Cutest little elephant. So here he's hanging out here. So I basically just have, um, brushes and the, uh, silicone uh, powder in here and I've got just some mitt like the mittens to make sure I put them on the babies um, when I dress them and then cloth diaper collection here and then down here I just have these two bins that I stole from Piper's room because she she has enough and I just have uh, clothes in here. So these are like, I get so many clothes that come with the dolls that I purchase. Um, so I'm trying to kind of, I um, probably 75 to 80% of them will get recycled back into babies that I sell because they, um, they're brand new usually. Um, and then some of them I have in here because they're really nice, like more boutique -y, you know, kind of clothes, dre you know, dress up, definitely dress up. So that's what's in here. Kind of dress, just dressy, fun stuff. Um, and then here is little Katie. I love this baby. I love her. She, I just love her. I do. 
Um, so here she's in here. She's got her own bed, which is nice. Um, and then down here I just put some shoes. I'm like obsessed with the shoe thing now. Thank you, Kelly. But uh, yeah. Um, and then some pacifiers. And um, over here, I just put this little, I'm still kind of t playing around with what's going to work best. Um, but I've got the hair, hair bows in here and then some more little shoe booty things. Some of them are too big. I, so I need to, I think, get rid of some. Um, but yeah, the shoes are hard to find. That, that will fit them right. Um, now here's a baby you have not seen that I have decided to keep. Um, I've had her for a little bit. So this is Luna by Jenny Lee. And she's going to stay with me. At least for a little bit. But how cute. I just, oh, she's so cute. So there's little Luna. So she's waiting for her sister, Ella. Um, yeah, I just, I just love uh, Jenny, Jenny's uh, sculpts. She's amazing. So there's little Luna. Um, and then under here, I just have some blankets, so nothing really. And then here's the last little corner with little Miss Teddy and Mr. Gabriel. Gabriel needs a changing. He's been wearing that coat, although he's by the window, so. So they're hanging out in there. And then under here I have, oops, um, some blankets. These are all blankets. And then these are like tights and socks and hats and mittens and stuff like that. So this is, seems to be good. I wanted to kind of mess around with it and see. Oh, so now you can kind of see. And then actually, so this is my husband's dresser. I have, I stole, I, he, his closet's fine. He, I stole three of the drawers. So the three, so he just gets those two and I get three. It's, it's really funny. But when he throws his clothes on the floor, he can just throw them in his closet and then I don't stress out about it. Um, and then there's Micah. He needs, I need to fix his head. I put a little too much weight in it when I got him. So, uh, it's so funny. I was picking up some of my dolls from when I just started collecting and I was weighting them and I like them heavy, but holy cow, <laughs> I think it's hilarious how that changed. So yeah, this is my little corner. It's, I mean, it's perfect. And my husband let me, so I was going to use that other room. The, the It's like a library kind of room, but it's so dark in there. So we kind of have to paint it. Um, but this is fine. Like, honestly, he's never in here. So it's just perfect. And I have my, this is where I take pictures. Um, you know, when I'm, when I finished painting a, a baby, that's where they're in there. Uh, and then here's my table. So yeah, it's, uh, I love this, I love this. So I will show you, in these drawers I just basically have like sleepers. Um, I put a bunch of sleepers in here and I can also use these to send with babies I sell if I um, want, need, you know, want to do that. So there are those, and then these are for the boys. That's what's in here. And that, I feel so organized, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know, and then as soon as I start rifling through, trying to find something. And these are all preemie stuff. Um, or micro, so these are for Luna. Micro preemie stuff. Uh, so the, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me stop this and I will put you guys on the tripod. Okay. 
Is this gonna work? I didn't really, I didn't think about this. So let's change little miss. What's your name? Nova, sorry. Oh my goodness. My brain goes into a different mode. Oh no, I put this on the, when the uh, babysitter's here. So it takes me a second. Okay. So I feel like I'm gonna have to play around with this angle a little bit. But for now, it's gonna have to work. So here, these are the little pants from Jacquardy. I'm getting better at saying that. And then this is a little shirt. So these, this I've had for a little bit. And it came in a two pack. Um, it's just this Bebe Jacquardy. And it's a one month size. And I, it's unisex, so I pretty much put it on whoever. And then these little tights that are also from Jacquardy. And these shoes, they're so, they're gonna, it's hard, it's so, they're like, make them really wide. Where are these from? Can't remember. I'll link the, uh, where I got these. Um, why did I put everything under? Sorry, you guys. Okay. Uh, but they have little pom-poms on them. Aren't they cute? And she's wearing right now. Um, so this is from... The camera's going to be shaking the whole time. From Children's Salon. And it's their new Peter Rabbit line. And it's so cute. It's just very sweet. So this baby's quite amazing, I have to say. Um, she... Her skin, her silicone is that super soft, like marsh, marshmallow, mar marshmallow, marshmallowy, but it also like wrinkles. So she was done. She was painted by Virginia Cornish. Um, I hadn't heard of her, I, I, but it's that's only because I'm still learning who the the silicone artists are. Um, but that's who painted her and she's amazing. She's just so pretty. She is actually wearing, is she wearing? No, she's not. I took Katie's earrings and put them in another baby. So I have to get Katie's earrings. Um, but I'm going to show you. So her... Skin. Let's see if I can do this. If you can look at her tummy, you see how it wrinkles. So Claire Taylor's babies do this, but it's different. Um, I can't explain it. It's so hard to explain. Uh, but it it wrinkles. So she's super soft. She doesn't, it's like, look how soft, it's, but it's, it, isn't that cool? But it's different. It's still different, but it's, she's super soft. I really like, I'm liking the silicone. She doesn't have armatures, um, but she can, I mean, and look at her little hand. Isn't that so cute? Uh, and I think, did I say she, she's Nova by Lillian Breedfield? But see how soft, I mean, she can just put her arms back like that. Yeah, and she's darling. I really like her. I really don't want to make this video again. I got to figure out a better way where to put the camera. Because it's shaking.
Okay, you guys might not know. Well, now you do. I had to turn the camera off because I felt like the whole thing was shaking, but it really didn't look that bad. So let's just finish this video and we'll see what happens. Let's just pick her up. She's so cuddly. It's amazing to me um, the different silicones that are out there. Um, and I know I reference back to Kelly, Kelly Girl a lot, um, but she's really kind of who I watched if I kind of need had questions or you know I just really enjoy her videos and I and so. Um, but she did it. She was doing a video on, I guess there was a comment on a different video about how all silicone, all silicone dolls are this, the same, which seemed crazy to me. So Kelly kind of did a, a video explaining how they're not, uh, which they're not. I mean, they're all so, so different. Oh, you know what? Let's put some mittens on you. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, they're so different. And even within the um, the artists, you know, their silicone changes and evolves and do they, they have different grades of it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it's, a, it's kind of amazing to me, the difference. Very intriguing. Um, I will say, for in my experience, Claire Taylor's silicone is like n none other. Um, it's unbelievable. It's in a whole different category to me. Um, and unless you experienced it, it's really kind of hard to kind of to to explain to describe it. Uh, but there's something about her silicone that's just who I don't you nobody know I don't, I don't know who knows I think there's probably very few people that know uh, how she does it and what she does but um, yeah so you know now all these these other artists are kind of seeing how this softer silicone is so um, kind of in demand and Claire really, um, from what I've learned, started, kind of spearheaded that whole uh, soft silicone movement, as you will. And she uh, and, and people realized, other artists realized how, because I think at first it wasn't, um, People didn't like it for one reason or the other, but and I think it's more difficult to paint as well. Um, I will be painting my first partial silicone, so that we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, so sorry, it is. I've said this before. It's hard to change these dolls um, and talk at the same time. But anyway, so yeah, other artists kind of started to follow suit, and it's more been very, very recent um, that they've done this. Let me do it this way. But I think, um, yeah, this is big. Oh no! Oh, you guys, I apologize. I wonder how much of this I'm going to have to edit out. We'll just leave that other snap and snapped. I'll get better. I'm in a new filming situation. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, anyway, so th th my point is the, the other artists are really kind of starting to, to do the softer silicone. And this baby is probably one of my favorites besides the, uh, you know, Katie. Um, why do they make these so complicated? Oh my word. I was watching one of Diana's videos 
and here we go. And she was like, when her packing video, she said there was an outfit that she, for the life of her, could not. Like, can you imagine if this was a real baby? Like, what? I mean, there's no way Piper would sit here and be okay with this. This is not right. Maybe this goes here. Ay, ay, ay. You know what? This is going to have to do. I will fix her later. But that was just challenging. Oh my gosh, I have to put the tights on under. I'm not going to. Nope. We're not going to do that. These tights are going to go over. Because otherwise we'll be here all day. So, anywho, let's put, oh, these are cute. Yeah, these aren't too big either. I can't wait for these shoes I ordered to come because I think they're going to fit. This is, I've had four back surgeries. It's been a while. I think I've mentioned it. This is hurting my back. Why? I'm not sure why. Oh, okay. So let's get your tootsies in here, Missy. So the softer silicone, uh, you really you have to be more careful just because it's so squishy. I mean, her like if I don't if you can see her leg right now, but like she's fine, but she's a little bent in a pretzel because he's tight. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. Sorry. Nova. Oh my gosh, those are so stinking adorable. I see, I've not I don't dress girls. I mean I dress myself, but half the time I'm wearing a baseball not half the time, like ninety-five percent of the time I'm wearing a baseball hat and I'm not wearing tights, that's for sure. So I'm gonna have to Because poor Piper, my goodness. Oh, the bow goes on the front, isn't it? Must. That's interesting. Oh, very cute. Oh my goodness, I love these kind of neutrally colors, and I love stripes. Oh my word, <gasps> she's adorable. That's so cute. Look. Okay. So let's put our little shoesies on. She's like swimming. Her feet are swimming in these. I don't get why they make the feet. And it's not just for, I mean, it's like real babies, I would think. They would be swimming in there. Of course, I never put shoes on Piper. Like, I bought a bunch of... The, yeah, these are huge, but they're so cute. Um, I bought a bunch of the uh, those, like, robies, you know, that you just kind of stretch on their feet. They're, there's, they have no soles. But I never put them on her. I mean, she always had socks on. So... Anyway, oh my goodness, how cute are you? All right, let's get the phone. Well, there she is. I had to get my camera, my, I mean, my phone, my camera was stressing me out. But that's a big flipping bow. But it's really cute. 
Oh my goodness. Isn't she so cute? I love her face and I love her. See, she like has an overbite. That's so cute. She kind of looks like me. I have I had an overbite. Oh my gosh. So there's little Miss Nova. And I'm going to work on the um <laughs> on the uh the camera angle cuz but I'm I'm liking this 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 uh window. I mean, there's no sun out, but still. Uh yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this setup. Um and I was I know I was going to do the um happy mail video, but I wanted to do this like I said before I messed it all up. So so there she is, and then I'll link the stuff below, like where I got everything, just because I always like to see that. You say bye-bye? Bye-bye, aunties. Look, she can suck her fingers. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, bye-bye.